Welcome back guys, it's Nims again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make, uh, well it's an, actually it's an updated model to one of my previous videos, the sliding underground base. Um, you can see it here, this is the exposed version. Uh, I'm using the uh, compact T flip flop here with the piston switch to open this up and uh, see then you would be able to descend in, blah blah blah, this is your base. And then once you're inside you push the button and it closes. Push the same button again and it opens. So we had a previous build like this. I have gone through many iterations of it and uh, I'm gonna show you how to build it the new updated 2.0 version today. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is you need to figure out where you're gonna build it. Whenever you have that you're gonna dig a one block down two block wide hole as long as you need it to be. Uh, I recommend at least four uh, no more than really seven though. After seven it starts to get too too much redstone, too much timing that you gotta go through. Anyways, so once you have your uh, your rectangle, the one block down, two wide, and however long rectangle, extend this out two blocks on both sides. And then at the back of those two blocks add a piston. And do that again for the other side. A sticky piston I should say. Then use your block of choice that you're going to be using. This is your camouflage block. Uh, so use whatever would match the, uh, the surrounding area. Once you've got that down, then behind the sticky pistons, you're going to dig out two blocks from behind them and two blocks down. And so go ahead and do that on all sides. And make sure you do it two... <clears throat> to both sides because of course these are this is the wiring here that we're making room for so we got to wire up both sides next thing that you're gonna do is instead of our old model power the piston directly we're actually gonna do in this new one we're going to power the block under the piston which will save space rather than having a large mound that is four blocks of exposed stuff you're only gonna have two blocks of exposed things which is the piston and then the piston arm when it's extended so much much more compact about half the size is our old one so again just place these repeaters down uh, directly behind the piston directly under and behind the pistons um, so you could see if I power this repeater it forces that piston out and then if I turn it off of course the piston pulls back. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to connect these. I recommend digging uh, a couple blocks out like this and keep in mind while we're building this, this isn't this isn't you have to build it perfectly as I do. Um, obviously the redstone is pretty much you have to do it that way but for placement and everything else like that unless I make a very specific note of it do this however it fits to your world. These, these builds are designed for you to make them into your own thing so please don't follow this perfectly make it your own make some sort of uh, iteration of your own anyway so once we're done here I just connected it all with redstone uh, wiring so you can see how if I use the torch it pushes all the blocks out covers up our hole turn it off and we're good at this point you can safely dig your hole down as well um, just one block at a time. Cool. So again, you can see if I place the torch there, boom. All right, so that's working perfectly. The next thing we need to do is we need to make a spot for the uh, the T flip flop. Um, how much space we need is a four by three block uh, rectangle. So here's one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four carve that out oops one too many and then we need to dig this three more blocks down so a total of four blocks down that we're going to dig so here's one down two three four go ahead and finish digging this out this is going to like I said this is making room for the in its current state it'll work with a lever but that's not really desired because you either have the lever on the inside which means if you're outside it's permanently open or if you have the lever on the outside that means while you're inside it's permanently open uh, which does not work you have you 
you would want it to be closed uh, at all times. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is dig one block down right here, place a redstone torch uh, flat in the bottom of it, then place a block directly over that, place a regular, not a sticky piston, uh, facing towards that block that you just placed. Um, it is important that these blocks here are not any transparent blocks. They have to be something that redstone wiring can interact with. Place two redstone wires on top of the block like so. Place a repeater there and a repeater there. I'm not going to go into too much detail. If you guys need to see the video on more detail on how to build this, I'll make a link in the description. Um, from here, you're just going to take your wiring. Uh, this block here is your output. So if I placed a button here, you can see it as this slides, our output turns on and off. So what we need to do is connect that output to to our sliding underground base. So that's very simple. Just take it and connect the wiring. Bam, that, that was pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and add a repeater here just to extend the current and make sure that we have enough room to make all of the furthest pistons. All right, and we do. Sweet. So we're, we're almost done at this point. The next thing that we need to do is open this baby up. Now we're inside. See, and this is what I was talking about. Now I'm inside, but the button's on the outside, so I have no way of closing it. So that's what we're taking care of right now. Um, so I'm going to dig just a couple more blocks in. I want the button to be right here, so I'm going to dig out right here. Need to dig out, I think it's four blocks, five blocks. Let's just do five to be safe. So one, two, three, four. Here's the fifth. And then on the fifth, you can safely dig further out to connect this to... Yep, see, we can connect this to our flip-flop. Um, to connect, it's pretty simple. Um, actually, I'm going to dig this out just a couple more blocks right here. It's pretty simple. You're just going to take the top wiring right here. This is what controls the flipping of the flip-flop. And run it outward like this. I don't need that one. Okay, so you could see now that this wiring will <clears throat> come into our base here and effectively toggle the machine again. So I'll just put a button here and you can see how it toggles it, if I could get out. So now it's closed so nobody can get in, nobody can get out. We'll hit the same button and it's open so we can then escape from our cave. Just finish wiring this up take the wiring all the way back into the side into the inside of your base almost done awesome actually I need to put a repeater somewhere in here just to make sure that the current will make it all the way there and I'm gonna place this at eye level so now whenever I toggle it it closes that's gotta be really dark and toggle it again and it opens so then you could just build your base down here and you're set. I've gone ahead and uh, built a full demo model something that maybe like if you're a map creator something like that this could be like a secret um, looks pretty hidden right here can't really see it I've got all the blocks very, very well hidden got a tree on top tons of vines the only kind of giveaway is the button right here push the button you can see all the blocks pull back and then we've got like an underground treasure room pretty cool looking and oh man look at that it's some diamond blocks in the shape of nims gaming ho ho all right guys that's the end of the video don't forget to like comment subscribe uh if you do end up making one of these i'm really curious to see how it looks in your world so upload a video make it a video response to this one and i'll check it out thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later